Price, Pat Sullivan from Sullivan Hardware and Garden stopping by this morning with some great advice. And what are we talking about this morning, Matthew? Yeah, today he talks all about toilets. Well, I hate to interrupt your all-star weekend, but I thought before the festivities get going today, we could talk a little bit about toilet. That's right. Toilet talk, which is different from potty mouth. All right, that's completely different. Did you know that this little toilet right here with just a little bit of a leak can cost you maybe on the low end $70 a month, on the high end hundreds of dollars uh, in, in your water bill. And it's like when everything is so tight on your budget, this is something so simple. And here's the thing. Yeah, there's a lot of great plumbers and you need, we, gosh knows we all need plumbers, right? But this is something you might be able to fix yourself because it's not that hard. So the inside workings of a toilet is pretty simple. You have water that comes into the tank and then down there you have water that goes out. So pretty basic, right? Unfortunately, what happens when people try to start fixing these things themselves, they hear the toilet turn itself on, right? So they hear this, they hear the water turn on. And so then they assume the problem is right here and they start monkeying with this. Well, this is the water fill valve. There's nothing wrong with the water fill valve because what the water fill valve is doing is reacting to the culprit, which is that flapper down there. As water leaks out of that, the water in the tank slowly goes down. This is just doing its job. It just fills it back up. Thus, you're wasting water. So how do I know? What I would do is you put a little food color in here, all right? We don't recommend yellow for obvious reasons. Now you could say, well, Pat, why wouldn't I just turn the valve off down here? You touch that valve, you could have trouble because those valves never get turned. The valve could start leaking and now you have another problem. Little food color down in here. Don't let anyone use the toilet. Wait and then open the lid and see if you see that color down inside the toilet because that will verify if we start to see that food color down in here. Now we know the flapper is leaking. It's as simple as this. Now there is different kinds of them because as toilets, uh, all the toilets are now different. But you throw that old flapper uh, in a bag or take a picture of it, head to the hardware store, get a new flapper, and then kind of test it again. You could put the, uh, put the food color back in it, and if it doesn't show up, you're good. I'm telling you, this is a money waster. It's a big deal, and it's such a surprise to people on their, uh, on their water bill. So certainly something you can do. Uh, there's also, if, if you have, you can have leaking down here, which is a little harder, but there's a gasket, what's called a tank to bowl gasket. And if you're pretty handy, you could fix that as well. But again, that might be a little bit, but this flapper, anybody can do the flapper. You'll save a lot of money. And again, if you get in trouble, paying a plumber a few hundred bucks is a lot cheaper than having hundreds and hundreds of dollars on your water bill. So enjoy today but keep in the back of your mind, gotta take care of that toilet.